two things have to happen in Act 3. Act 3 is the shortest act. If Act 3 is longer than 12 to 15 minutes, you are at risk of losing your audience because they are ready to have it wrapped up. But there are two major things that have to take place in Act 3. The first one is called the obligatory scene. And it says it all in the word obligatory. It has to happen. It's got to be there. And this is why your adversary has to be a human being, and they have to be a very strong human being. Look at Maximus and, and, and Commodus. Mano a mano, hand to hand, one will kill the other to decide the dramatic question of the story once and for all. We thought it was going to be decided here, but no, no, no. It is decided once and for all in the obligatory scene, and that's why the, uh, uh, the adversary has to be a human being, personified as a human being, because they have to go at each other, the hero and adversary, for all the marbles at this point. This decides the issue, <clears throat> and there's one thing more that has to happen after that. It's a quiet, quieter moment, but you got to have it. I've seen movies fail because they didn't have this. And that's the denouement. It's the, you know, it, it, denouement means, uh, what, untying, unraveling. Uh, there, you have to wrap up all major sub-stories, you know, how, how it affects all the major players at the very end.